In the northwest corner of Alaska, 30 miles above the Arctic Circle, a landscape of over 9 million acres is preserved by the National Park Service to protect the region's scenic areas, wilderness, and history. These parks are among the least visited in the country because they are so remote, but if you take a look around you'll notice that the Arctic is actually bustling with life. Since prehistoric times, unique plants and animals have called this place home. The Western Arctic caribou herd migrates through these wide open spaces, grazing on lichen and plants of the tundra. In summer, the midnight sun shines all night long, and in winter, the northern lights dance across the dark skies. Inupak culture and subsisting from the land are a large part of the living history here, with traditions of the past continuing on just as they have for thousands of years. At Cape Cruisenstern National Monument, the beach ridges along the coast hold evidence of that long human history. The land here was part of Beringia, a vast area connected to Asia during the Ice Age. Archaeologists study the artifacts left behind by past cultures to learn more about the larger story of North America's early inhabitants. In a more recent history, muskox have returned to these hills. They were present since the Pleistocene, but extirpated in the late 1800s, and then reintroduced in the 1970s. Their underwool, or kivu, sheds every year and is extremely soft and insulating. Moving east, you'll find the Noatak River, wild and free-flowing. Noatak National Preserve is known for its vast, scenic landscapes. Experienced backpackers and hunters enjoy recreating in the remote mountains of this preserve. Logistics and unexpected weather can make visiting the Noatak or any parks in this region extremely difficult. But with good planning and flexibility, a trip to the Northwest Arctic can turn out to be the adventure of a lifetime. Scientists also take advantage of these remote landscapes because they're far off the road system and away from modern developments. With evidence of climate change already affecting the Arctic, Researchers use these parklands as a living laboratory to study topics such as temperature trends in the permafrost, erosion along the coastline, and wildlife population and distribution. Another interesting place for researchers and visitors are the naturally occurring sand dunes in Kobuk Valley National Park. Welcome to Kobuk Valley National Park! I The sands were formed by the grinding of ancient glaciers and carried by wind and water to Kobuk Valley. 
These dunes are the largest and most active in the Alaskan Arctic and provide habitat to rare species of beetles, wood frogs, and plants like the Kobuk loco weed. We're in a very special place here in Kobuk Valley National Park called Onion Portage, a place not only well known for its wild onions, but an archaeologist named Lewis Giddings came up here in the 1960s and was able to find evidence of roughly 9,000 years of human occupation and use right here at Onion Portage. And it's because of these caribou swimming across the river. And as they're crossing this river, that's a perfect opportunity for people to utilize this area in hunting them. Those hundreds of thousands of caribou provide food, a way of life, a subsistence way of life for the local people out here. Giddings Cabin remains at the Onion Portage site and is now a National Historic Landmark. In the Northwest Arctic, the old ways of life blend with the new on a daily basis and throughout the year. Traditional knowledge meets modern technology in the way that people travel and recreate here. <laughs> And subsistence practices like cutting and drying salmon are passed down through generations. Should I leave it in this water or what? Put it up here. National Park, Noatak National Preserve, and Cape Kruisenstern National Monument? Patience is key when visiting these parks. Even the most experienced traveler can face extensive delays or an unexpected cancellation. If you're planning a trip here, we encourage you to make extra time for all the tricky and odd situations that come with travel by small aircraft, wilderness safety, and unpredictable weather. stopping by Kotzebue. Come visit the Northwest Arctic Heritage Center just one minute from the airport. Visit us online at nps.gov for more information about your national parks.